overlap fan debates have split opinion when it comes to many things involving the Premier League. And Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher are not afraid to tackle all 20 Premier League clubs and their highs and lows during their Premier League seasons. And obviously you can imagine they always bring up Tottenham Hotspur and the things involving our football club, whether it be the current state in the Premier League table, our manager and Postacoglu, or Daniel Levy and the ownership model. So with their recent upload last week on the Overlap YouTube channel, this week I'm going to be asking the question, are Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher right about Tottenham Hotspur? So yeah, the pundit duo are back again you know, with another one of their overlap special fan debates. And this time they were joined by a different pundit, and it was Alex from the Fighting Cock podcast, similar to the one that Flav Bateman is on. And he was talking about, you know, different stuff involving the Premier League season for Tottenham Hotspur, whether it be and Postacoglu's style of play, the amount of goals have been conceding. But obviously there was a specific angle about Daniel Levy and the football club and possible changes that could happen. And the pundits go both into, you know, specific detail about Daniel Levy, the direction of the football club, will Ange Postacoglu succeed? So without further ado, I might as well play that specific clip. I, I, Spurs have always been a team fighting for the top four. I think there was one season of the pot, you, you fought for the title. I mean, when, when he's saying this is going to take time, how long... Is this project what is success for Spurs and Postecoglou? I think I think his um, his ambition, and obviously it's his ambition, but I, I genuinely think he believes that his job here is to bring a culture of of success to Tottenham, it, it, just in the mentality of what, the club what's first that? and foremost. But challenging for the Premier League title, and and whether that is how long that takes, you know, we're in an amazing financial position now. You know, Daniel Levy has his critics, me being one of the biggest ones, but we're in a position now where. You know, we've got this huge safety net of money that we can spend. We have to, at some point, be shown, be seen to go and do it. And he's got away with it, Levy, this year, because, you know, at the end of last year, Kane go in, Postacoglu has brought in a, a, such a feel-good factor around the club, because if you're not winning every week and you're not top and you're not fighting for a chance, you've got to be enjoying watching your football every week. It, it's vital, particularly for a club like Tottenham, where the history, history is based around that anyway. But success should be challenged for a title. And I think, I think we, the summer and January, we should be seeing that we are at least getting towards that, that aspect. Um, so you feel like you've got the right manager. It's just whether the owner fully backs him and really goes for it. Yeah, I, I, I love Ange. I, you know, said it, it's nice to actually like a manager that you've got, which I haven't for the last four <laughs> years. Uh, and is he the man that comes and changes everything? I don't know yet. Yeah? You know, he's at a level that he's not been at before as well, which I think he'd readily admit. But the way he talks, the way players talk about him, it, it does give me hope that actually, yeah, do you know what, that we've got one here. Do you, do you ever see Spurs challenging for a title or winning a title? It's just not something we've ever been no. brought up with or seen. <laughs> we, 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 we did, I mean, under Pochettino in that season where they got champion. You know, yeah, but did you, win, like, do you think they were going to win the league? No, but I think that's where they got sort of closest to winning major trophies. Um, no, I don't. And it's not maybe because of what Tottenham do. It's more because of what the others are doing. Yeah. And I don't think he's ever going to... You, you said he's got that sort of, if you like, reserve of cash. He's just never going to do mm. what even Arsenal have done, to be honest with you. In the last few years, the Cronky family have just... Well, why not? I just don't think he's got it in him. It's not his nature. It's not what he does. I think... Foster Coglu? No. The, Daniel Levy, spending the money to get to a level whereby they can compete with Arsenal, with City, with United, with Chelsea... I just don't think these clubs are monsters when it comes to cash and putting money into it. I think there is a crunch point now, though, because we've had everything in terms of, you know, we had a 36,000 seat stadium, then we've got to build the stadium, Wembley, COVID. Everything now, you know, the figures for this year, their figures are going to come out in the next, in the next couple of weeks, and it's going to show a lot of positives in terms of the numbers. So why, why there was always an Tottenham excuse. Why do what Liverpool and Arsenal have done? I, I, I personally agree. Uh, and I think. Leave his ex, ex, I say excuse, but his reason has always been, look, this financial stuff is coming down the, down the pipeline. We've had the, the stadium overspent. We've had COVID. Now we're just building up to a stage. Yeah. He's, it, there's not going to be any more excuses now. There's but not going to be any more excuses. He'll still have to basically take his wallet out of his pocket and spend it. And just from, a, just from a point of view of how he's operated for all those years, except obviously there may be more revenue now in the stadium. But 
you know, Liverpool have... The, the, will he go and do an Alisson and a, and a, a Van Dijk? Will he go and spend 160, 170, 180 million on two players mm. to change the whole dynamic of the club? If you think about what Arsenal have done with 100 million on Declan Rice, will he go and do that? Has he got it in him to do that? So, yeah, it pretty much, you know, makes sense. And this is what a lot of Tottenham fans tend to be debating at the moment. I'd say a majority of football fans, you know, Tottenham fans, are excited and intrigued by what Ant Postacoglu can achieve at Tottenham Hotspur. We've seen already this season he's been able to bring an exciting brand of football back to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. You know, there have been a few hiccups along the way. You know, I'm thinking of the Chelsea results, the Wolves results, Aston Villa at home, Fulham away, you know, in particular. But there have been a lot of promising moments, you know. A lot of the players are back to, you know, firing form. We've signed some really good players um, already in two transfer windows under Ange. But there are some questions being asked about the future of Ange Postacoglu at this football club and what can we eventually achieve? You know, what what do Tottenham fans think a success? And this is raised in this video. Do Tottenham fans think success is getting back constantly into the top four like the Pochettino days? Do they think it's eventually winning that trophy that's eluded us for many years? Do they think it's actually contesting for a Premier League title or winning a Premier League title, winning a Champions League, winning constant cups like the FA Cup and Carabao Cup? You know, this is what this discussion has brought up because if you look at the current state of Tottenham Hotspur, we need to be getting back into those positions. And I personally think that Ange Postacoglu is the right man to help us get into those positions. You know, we've had a lot of managers recently who were sort of shackled by Daniel Levy. They couldn't really spend because of their short-term ambitions, but that was what Levy wanted from those managers. Whereas Ange looks like a process manager. He's going to be given time. But is he going to be given money? You know, we've seen the revenue streams coming into Tottenham Hotspur and, you know, the increased ticket prices. And, you know, if that's happening at the football club, we want to see success as fans. You know, I am a Tottenham fan who, you know, I trust this manager and I trust this process. But I also want my owner to invest in the club. And, you know, they raised good points, Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher. Are they going to do what Liverpool did and what Arsenal did? throw a hundred million pound at one player or, you know, invest Harry Kane money into top stars. You know, we're seeing some good signings, Mickey van der Ven, James Madison, Vicario, but are we going to make stellar signings? Personally, I'm not sure about that one. I, You know, Levy could be changing, but I don't know if he is because if you see about what he has done thus far, he looks like he's taken a step back and dealt with the business side. He's brought in Scott Munn, Johan Lang and Fabio Paratici seem to be pulling the strings behind the scenes more than Daniel Levy. But I think at the same time, you've got to take a lot of that with a pinch of salt. I'm not sure if Levy is fully changing. It's it's hard to tell from an outside point of view. We just, we just don't know until maybe in the summer and see what we invest in. Because, you know, a lot of Tottenham fans, we want to aim for the stars. We want to bring in top names, big stars, you know, the next upcoming talent, whatever that may be. But we don't know the answer to these questions until, you know, maybe the end of next season, maybe the season after that. You know, and Postacoglu might get fed up and want to go to be at Liverpool and, you know, see what Michael Edwards has to offer um, in a sporting director role. But... You know, there is still, I, I personally back a lot of what I'm seeing at the moment. I take it with a pinch of salt. I want to see more. Oh, of course I want to see more. It's my football club. I want to have hope and believe that we can do this. But I'm not an idiot because I've seen what has happened at this club for many years. You know, I've seen a manager be sacked in the lead up to um, a League Cup final. I've seen the team, you know, get all the way to a Champions League final and not quite make it over the line. Come third in the two horse race, you know, all the banter you get on social media, I've, you know, we've seen it. But can Tottenham finally do and defy the odds? Hopefully, under this manager, we can, and I think we can. Just Daniel Levy has to buck up his ideas, basically, and really invest in this team because at the moment, the stock is high. The stock is quite high. There's been some blips, even after the Luton game, even after, you know, the Fulham result, there's still some. Moments where I've looked at it and gone, what's going on here? You know, we really need to sort this out. But we've got a group of players here who, you know, some need to be replaced. Some are on the, you know, cusp of being great. They just need more coaching and to understand this system. But they still need a little bit more of investment. 
you know, investment in a lot of sense, financially and mentally. They need to be, you know, worked on and really crafted for this style of football and this style of manager. But the proof is going to be in the pudding. And until, you know, a couple of years time, we might not know the answer to these questions. But you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Daniel Levy is going to sort of change his way, invest in this squad and give Ange Postacoglu, you know, the reins to Tottenham Hotspur? At the moment, I'm not sure, but I'd love to know all your guys' thoughts. And if you have enjoyed this video, why don't you leave a like on it, subscribe to Sunny Talk Spurs, and hit the notification bell because it lets you know when I've gone live. And also, um, link in the description down below to become a member. We're getting so many members now. I'm really loving this community on Sunny Talk Spurs. For only 99p a month, you get exclusive access to weekly podcasts called nice one sunny so i'd love you to join me on this tottenham hotspur journey and my next video of this will be a reaction to the west ham game on tuesday so you know hit that notification bell and it'll let you know when it's gone live it's easy as that but until then see you later Bye bye